It appears Uber is officially moving into public transit. Let's talk about it. Welcome everyone. It's Joe time. I'm Mark. This is Mark's Travel Time. If you're new to the channel, I'm going to ask that you click my face in the corner to subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell icon up above so you know when I post new videos. This is an interesting story. It comes to me from TechCrunch and the headline reads, Uber pushes into on-demand public transit with its first SAAS SaaS partnership. Now, what that SAAS means is software as a service. So let's read the article. This is incredibly interesting and I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Uber will manage an on-demand service for Marin County in the San Francisco Bay Area with a software as a service product, that's the SAAS, as part of the ride healing company's broader strategy to push into public transit. Now we know they already sort of tried to push into public transport by acting as a ticket agent. Um, I've kind of compared that to, you know, Ticketmaster, where you can get your transit tickets, whether it be, uh, you know, for the train or the bus or whatever the public transit is, and you can do that through Uber. This is really a strange one. I have to admit, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but maybe those of you out in San Francisco can clarify. Let's go on. Transportation Authority of Marin, TAM, will pay Uber a subscription fee to use its management software to facilitate requesting, matching, and tracking of its high occupancy vehicle fleet, starting with a service that operates along the Highway 101 corridor. So what they are going to do is pay Uber to have access to their app is essentially what's happening. Marin Transit Trips will show up on the Uber app and let users book and even share rides. All right, now this just seems weird to me because you're limited to a certain area, the 101 corridor, and it's essentially rideshare. There's one reason that I could see this may interest people, but all the other things completely baffle me. Let's go on. Users in Marin County will see a new option called Marin Connect when they open the Uber app. The feature allows customers to book a ride in the six-seater and wheelchair accessible vans operated by Marin Transit. That's the only benefit I can see right now is if you need a wheelchair accessible vehicle, they have it. Beyond that, you tell me. Fares are $4 per mile or $3 for Marin Access riders. This is the part that baffles me. $4 a mile. Why not just call a regular Uber? You are limited here to where you're going in that 101 corridor. You have to be able to do a shared ride. So it's like Uber pool. Right now you can hop on a bus for two bucks in Marin County, or you can get an all day pass for $5. Why are you going to pay $4 a mile and have all those limitations and restrictions on you. I don't know. There is no booking fee, Uber said. The app will allow riders to share the ride if they're traveling in the same direction. For now, the maximum occupancy is two riders. I, you got me. I Maybe Corona? I don't know. To me, I don't see the benefit. You're paying a lot of money, four bucks a mile. You're limited to where you're going to go. You have to share the ride and it's limited to only two people. So if you have three people in your group, you can't even use that as a cluster of folks. I don't know. The service will operate weekdays from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. and run down the Highway 101 corridor between Mill Valley and Novato. So now you're limiting your time. If you want to go somewhere at 7.05, you're out of luck. The deal marks the first SAAS partnership for Uber and likely a pathway moving forward. I'm not too sure. Uber will generate revenue by offering this as a subscription. All the fares will head directly to Transportation Authority of Marin. That's why they're not charging a booking fee because Uber is just turning over this part of their app 
to the Marin County Transit and uh, they're going to wash your hands of it. Now, if they can do that for mass transit, why can't they do it for drivers? I, I, actually, this is sounding a little like trip, isn't it? You pay a subscription and then we turn our service over to you. Uh, and what I mean, let's do it for drivers. I don't want to pay money, but why can't they just let the drivers have uh, more free access? In 2018, Uber partnered with mobile ticketing platform Asabi to let people book and use transit tickets from within the Uber app. And that's why what I was alluding to earlier, that you can buy your tickets or kind of the ticket master of transportation for these organizations. This SAAS partnership with TAM is a bigger push into public transit and has more potential to generate revenue if Uber can convince other transit authorities to follow suit. I agree with that. I don't think it's going to work, but I agree with that because Uber doesn't have to do anything. Very little expense on their part other than keeping the app working. In a way, this could be their savior, right? If they can find enough organizations that see the benefit to having a fully functional app already in place. All they have to do is pay a subscription fee and they can get this thing uh, running. Here is, I think, a real potential problem. If TAM says, hey, this is really working real well, why don't we just take all this money that we're paying Uber and get a software development company to create an app for us? And they can put all of that to rest. Can you guys hear that? Tap, 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 tap. I apologize for that. I don't know what's going on in the world, but we're going to ignore it. The video is almost over. Tam is also partnering with Uber to launch its first to last mile voucher program to and from transit stops. These vouchers can be used for Marin Connect as well. I don't know. Now you're paying for the voucher. Is the voucher included in that, um, that $4 a mile fee? Are you paying an additional fee? They're not making that clear. I guess if it's getting your foot in the door, I could see potential. From a user perspective, this does not look appealing to me. If I'm paying four bucks a mile, I'm calling Uber a Lyft. Four bucks a mile, that's a lot of money. I mean, they say you don't have a booking fee. Okay, what's a booking fee usually? It's around four bucks, isn't it? I think it's 365 in my area. So for the first mile, you're trading for the booking fee on Uber. And after that, I don't think that you pay four bucks a mile. Not only that, you're not limited to the one-on-one corridor. Not only that, you don't have to, you know, have someone you don't know ride with you in your same direction. It's sort of like a really expensive Uber pool in my mind. But I could be missing something. All I'm getting is what this article is putting out. And sometimes we don't get the whole story. So what do you think? Does this have a future? Or is TAM simply going to use Uber to launch? And if it works out, they can develop their own system. If it doesn't work out, yeah, it was a good experiment. They're not on the hook. Um, it's interesting. It'll be something to keep our eye on. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos please leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, I encourage you to subscribe by clicking my face in the corner and ring the bell icon up above. That way you'll know when I post new videos. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Mark. This is Mark's Travel Time.